what's going on everybody this is the real JB again and today I have a huge announcement to make jailbreak has finally been released for all 64-bit devices running anywhere from iOS 9.2 all the way up to the latestly public release version iOS 9.3.3 so that includes anywhere in between iOS 9.2 9.2.1 9.3 9.3.1 9.3.2 and also 9.3.3 .3. there is a jailbreak that is available for it and just for a little bit of proof I'm running my air server to show the, uh, the results of my screen right here and as you can see I'm running iOS 9.3.2 on my iPhone 6s and here we have the legitimate Cydia app now, no bullshit, no, no fake, anything like that. iPhone 8.1, which is the iPhone 6S, iOS 9.3.2, Cydia. It's legitimately released now. And I'm going to show you how to get it. There's one of two ways, both of which require you to install a, a developer certificate. So, what that does is it lets you install. Um, develop like I guess it's like you know developer apps so apps that are not required to get via the app store I believe so this is a jailbreak that is released by Pangu and PP um, they, I know they had jailbreaks in I don't know some earlier iOS but I haven't really seen anything about them lately and it seems that the two have cooperated together into creating the new jailbreak utility. So what you need to do is if you have a Windows 7 either virtual box or computer, then you have to do that. Um, if you don't have a Windows 7 operating system available to use, then a there is still another way you can do it. So, for those of you that have Windows 7 and prefer to do it that way, you can go to the link in the description and you'll see the app that is required to use. It's just a, you know, a .exe file, an executable file. Before you do anything, you have to be running the latest iTunes version, which is iTunes 12.4.2, I believe. Let's see, just to make sure. Yes, 12.4.2.4. <laughs> um, so make sure you're definitely running the latest version of iTunes that is required. And again, this is only for 64-bit devices. This is not for anything older than um, an iPhone 5S. So unfortunately, if you have anything lower, such as iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, iPhone 4S, or anything below, uh, same thing with all the iPads that were that are 32-bit, this will not work for you. So, to get started, if you, uh, if you just want to try it without a computer, it works all the same, you'd want to go to your Safari and go to jailbreakme9.com, which seems super sketch, I'm not going to lie, but I've tested them both, both methods, and it is legitimate. It's not some crazy fake new scam to get, you know, get over on you. It is legit. So, once you're on here, I would re uh, recommend reading the important info and kind of seeing what it's about. Um, but, for all intents and purposes, we're just going to go ahead and download now. And you hit install. I have actually just done this before making this video. And it's going to install this app onto your home screen. This is the these two were installed previously when I did it yesterday with the the Windows executable and I wanted to check and make sure just in case it's the same thing on the using the jailbreakme9.com and it did install the exact same app. So both are safe, both are legitimate. The only caveat I have found of using this is that sometimes while using Cydia 
it wants to redirect me to the app store to install some stupid app like a game or some shit but I don't know you can just hit deny I'm sure by the time Pango releases their actual self marketed jailbreak that that won't be a problem but for right now those of you that want to test it out and maybe report some bugs on the github or reddit or whatever this is for you I mean I've been waiting for a jailbreak to come out for my phone for months now I'm sure many of you also have so in order to run the app you have to go into your settings and where is it I think it's just general yeah and device management and then you have to approve this the app see I haven't done this one yet this is the one I just installed from uh, jailbreakv9.com but this is the one I did yesterday as you can see it's the exact same app so once you once you have it you want to open it and you'll see a screen different than this you just will have a little circle around right here once you open the app wait about 20 seconds nothing will happen you won't see anything but just make sure you wait that 20 seconds to ensure you know everything's done loading in the you know, behind the scenes and then just tap your screen tap the circle in the center of your screen and as soon as you do lock your iPhone from this point on don't mess with anything don't you know if you want to you can uh, hit the home button and you'll see an icon showing the screen running or the uh, the app running but don't swipe to unlock don't do anything just keep it held on that screen don't touch anything and after around 20 25 seconds 30 seconds your phone will reboot and as soon as it boots back up you'll be right back on your home screen and Cydia will be installed I shit you not <laughs> it's legit I had one small problem with it though when I first installed it I had to I had to run through that app one more time because when I came into here go to changes or my sources there was nothing here even though the, uh, the you know Big Boss, Insidia, Mod My Eye, all that you know the, it said it was there but when I tapped on it there wasn't anything there so the way I found out around that was to go into the app again and then you'll see this this screen and then I tapped on whatever this button does and it ran through it one more time didn't uh, I didn't have to lock my screen didn't have to do anything but it did another reboot and when it came to Cydia was fully functioning fully working everything on it so um, as you can expect not all of the packages work since I mean it's still not technically released yet but it legitimately does work one thing I found, terminal emulator does not work. I don't know, I can't get it to work. But all the packages I've installed for it, like uh, OpenSSH, said it installed just fine. Um, literally everything. I don't know what this is. Probably the installed package needed for Cydia. But I don't know, go ahead and mess around with it. It's legit. Um, let's see, maybe we can try to install something real quick for you. See, for all the haters out there that don't want to believe. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Okay, here. Let's install. I don't know. I'm not a fan of V at all by any means. I prefer Nano. But. No. Oh, whatever. Forget it. Let's do it.
Okay. Now, as you've seen, I do have OpenSSH installed. So let's go ahead and try to SSH into the phone. I decided to chop the video a bit right here because, I don't know, there's some pertinent information in the wrong hands, such as, uh, I don't know, my personal DNS and my IP address, my Wi-Fi name, just all pretty much stuff that I really don't want to be putting out there on uh, the public internet. So I'm not going to show you that. But as you can see, I'm going to try to SSH into the phone real quick and I don't know, see what happens. Well, would you look at that? It really works. Well, let's try maybe that V program I just installed. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me try Veeam. No? Nano? There we go. So there is proof of the Nano program I showed you that I installed earlier working. And just for proof, one more time, here I am, 9.3.2, and in Cydia as well, iOS 9.3.2. So there you have it. If uh, you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Drop a comment in the section. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share the video, and keep coming back for more. Take it easy.